So when you've got a template, you can see that the template's saved and what it's called by this tab up here, .w, uh, .dwt is Dreamweaver template, uh, just to state the obvious. But a Dreamweaver template is going to show up different from a web page, which is going to be HTML when it's saved, .html file ext extension. And also down in the corner down here, as I've talked about before, in your file section, this will show that you've got your template folder and your template saved in it. So everything is ready now to create the pages. And it's as simple as this. Because you've got a template, you can create the pages from this template. So file, uh, new, and when it comes up like this, you should recognize this menu. You're not creating a blank template again. You're creating a page from your template. Now, it's showing up a few sites there because I've created uh, previous sites before using this computer. Um, and indeed, if you do um, if you do create more than one site, this may happen to you. So make sure you're on the right site. That is the template I've just created there. And uh, notice that this needs to be ticked here. It should be ticked by default. Update page when template changes because you want to be able to change a template and then have all your pages updates, uh, update automatically. That's the idea of a template, basically. So we'll click Create, and we end up with another page. And we can do that for um, all of our pages. New page from template, Create, File, New, Page from template, Create, File, New, Page from template, Create, File, New, Page from template, Create. Now, you may think to yourself, one, two, three, four, five pages, six pages. One of the biggest mistakes that's made is this. This template is not a page. This template is when you should decide what happens in this section at the top here and this section down the side here. Not what happens here. Because what happens here is going to be on this page it will change and on this page it will change and so on and so on and so on. Indeed on any of these untitled pages that you see here you cannot click on the top or the left hand side because that framework is actually controlled here in this bit here by the template. So that's the idea of this if you can get your head around it as well. And also don't forget I've also got a footer on this bit here. Indeed if I didn't want a footer I can delete that off so I don't have a footer on it. And I've just got a structure that goes um, across the top and down the left hand side. So um, I'm going to now, um, because I've actually made a change there where I took that footer off, you'll notice the stars come up there. And um, I'm going to save that. Instead of using the menu, I'll just go Control S. And if you notice, look, all of these have come up there. Oh, I've got a bit of a, a split going on on that page there. I'll just take it back to Code Design. Um, you'll notice I've got a star next to all of these because all of these are now unsaved. In fact, that means they've changed, so they're connected to the template. Because if we look down here, look, they've still got a footer on them, but it's now changed. But I'll just make sure by uh, changing this to head, er, like that. And I'll go Control S again. And then we need to change these. So we need to save these, should I say, uh, with their appropriate name. So I'm going to call this my uh, index page. And you'll notice when I say the index page, the E's gone out of header and the foot has gone from the bottom, or should have gone from the bottom. Indeed it has when we look at that there. It's gone from the bottom, so there's no footer on there now. So that's updated, and then likewise, I'll just do another one for you before we finish this. File save, I'll say this is um, an about us page. So about us, .html, and header at the top. Just to prove this to you, um, I'll change this back to um, header, control S to save, and whoa, suddenly, because I've saved these for the first time and given them a name, they are now showing up an update menu like that. So if you get all your pages saved, don't forget control S, control S on each one, if you get all your pages saved to start with, you can just update, and then you can go file, save all. And making sure you save everything. Always make sure that you're looking for whether the stars are there or not.